What's up everybody, welcome back to Cigars and Whiskey for our next review. Today we're reviewing a, a cigar that I had tried a few years ago. Uh, it's been a while since I've had one, I wanted to revisit the cigar, see if it's something that uh, is stayed the same or has changed a little bit. It is going to be the Ramon Beso and that's the Genesis, Genesis Project uh, Toro. And this is a five and a half by 54 stick. It does, uh, I found it on Cigars International. How trivial, I get a lot of my cigars from Cigars International. Few of those websites where I have found that I can get really good, decent cigars for a good price point. Now you can get five of these Toros and they will be about 29, $29.50 and this is a Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. It is a product of Hondura, of Hon Honduras, excuse me. It does feature a Honduran uh, binder and the filler is Nicaraguan and Honduran. With that you can see this is a dark chocolatey wrapper, very minimal seams. Uh, the, the veins, you can see them a little more predominant. It is going to be something just a little bit more noticeable, especially on a, uh, a cheaper budget cigar. It is definitely, last time I had it, it was a very delicious cigar. It is, can, like I said, the strength wise, it is almost a full strength cigar, uh, but definitely take a look at that. Uh, it looks like it is a single cap on the top of the cigar it doesn't give a lot of information on the profile of it and i'm not you know just guessing here but with that said we're gonna go ahead and get it cut up and i'll be back with the pre-draw of the genesis all right with that we're gonna go ahead and get it cut let me just get uh, an ashtray closer i am going to go ahead and do a straight cut and go it's just going to get just the top of it. Just go ahead and get that. Just enough to clip the top, but not too far down so it causes the cigar to unravel. It's one of the worst things you can do. Another way to do it, and I've showed it before, but I don't have a problem showing it again, is with a straight cutter, lay it flat on the table, and then open it. With the straight cut, lay it on the table, put the cigar down straight just enough that you get it and then you clip the top that way you're not going to take too much off but the pre-draw cigar's got a great draw profile it's not too packed it's not too loose it's just enough that you get a good decent draw on it getting a little bit of a sweet fruit almost like a cherry a little bit of a cocoa uh, unflavor un unsweetened cocoa almost tastes like a Nicaraguan now it does have a little bit of that Nicaraguan in there uh, but I can't pull that out and there's just a hint of even maybe like a dried raisin profile that said go ahead and use the torch featuring a triple torch just get it lit don't get it too close don't want to burn it as you can see plenty of smoke off the cigar Getting a little bit of a cocoa profile. Getting a little bit of that uh, sweet alfalfa. 
little more of a leather profile as well. But with that said, we're gonna keep smoking through it. I'll be back with more on the Genesis Project. All right, everybody, welcome back for the second third of our cigar. As you can see, it is not burning razor sharp. It is actually starting to canoe just a little bit, canoeing where it goes at an angle. Uh, you can touch it up or you can leave it. I'm gonna leave it, see what happens. But in the second third of the cigar, as I take the band off here, I am noticing a little more of a leather profile, a little more of a deep earth profile, like a alfalfa smell, fresh cut grass smell, start to notice it. Because your sinuses and your taste are all together. It's kind of, it's hard to explain, but if you understand, you understand. If you don't, I'm sorry. I just, I can't explain it any better than that. He said we'll let it go through second third though it's not getting any stronger it's about a mid to full strength cigar so if you are a real low end to a medium it's a little bit stronger you might like it you may not if you like maduros i definitely suggest it it is an interesting difference in a maduro with a little more honduran um, in there with the connecticut broadleaf and then nicaraguan so a little bit different blend I smoke a lot of Nicaraguan puros, meaning they're all Nicaraguan or all but maybe one. The wrapper might not be. But man, it is a good cigar. It's construction wise, like I said, not burning very straight. Other than that, there's no other issues. I don't have any un, un uh, wrapping issues. I don't have any mouse holes and it is staying spongy to the touch. With that said, we're gonna keep going through it. Back with the final third, final thoughts of our cigar right after this, so stay tuned. A little history on Ramo Beso. Now, for those who don't know, uh, he has actually been making cigars since about 1977. He has uh, made uh, a lot of different blends, has been involved with that. Uh, one of the companies he worked for is Vilzona. If you're not familiar, uh, Hoya de Monterey. Uh, and some of those major brands down there he's been with and worked with so when when i review the cigar it is a budget smoke compared to some others it's not overly priced but it's not a high-end brand name cigar but you are still getting the great quality from someone who has been in the industry a while and definitely uh, understands the concept of blending a well-blended cigar all right, everybody, welcome back for the th final third, a review of the Genesis Project. And the final third hasn't changed at all. And yes, I use a cigar stick. Now, before you ask, it's not fancy. It's actually a corn cob sticker. I broke one, had one, needed a sticker, used it. So you don't have to spend a lot of money for a sticker if that's something you like to smoke cigars with. I've seen toothpicks, I've seen paper clips. A little bit nicer than that. And I got it at the dollar store. So it's definitely a budget thing. With that said, in our final third, the cigar profiles are still the same. It's still amazing. Definitely suggest you try it. If you haven't, uh, then you should. Again, you can buy a 20 box or a 20 bundle on Cigar Internationals. Or if you're not that brave, you can buy a five pack. And yes, there are even, I've seen some of these in some of the local shops, so you can always check that out too. But it's definitely a good cigar. I recommend it wholly. And if you're out there in the social media world and you have a TikTok, I have a TikTok too. I don't TikTok as much as some, but I try to keep everything exposure of the, of the channel. So I hope that you will check that out. Again, TikTok, Cigars and Whiskey. And I don't have very many videos, like I said, but if we start a better, there are quite a few guys on there that do cigar TikToks that I have uh, connected with. And hopefully they've submitted to my channel and also my Facebook group page, Cigars and Whiskey. And there's also a fan page on Facebook. I'm all over the place, so you can check all those places out if you want to keep tabs on me and what I'm doing in my cigar realm. But other than that, if nothing else, give me a thumbs up, hit that like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be appreciated. And as always, have a great day. Have a great smoke. 
and I will see you next time.